Hey there, it's Ben Scallon with Grip Media. Will people be allowed to question immigration in the near future? Will they be able to criticize politicians? Will you be allowed to say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman without threat of prosecution? Fine Gael's Minister for Justice, Charlie Flanagan, made a very controversial announcement recently when he proposed expanding the existing hate speech laws in Ireland. He claims this is needed to tackle hate speech, but due to the timing of the announcement, many have doubts and concerns about the government's true agenda. This talk of speech policing comes at a time when anti-government sentiment is growing across Ireland, with massive crowds from regions like Uchtarard and Ackle, just to name a few, coming out in protest of government policies. The minister has indicated that he wants to expand the definition of hate speech. However, the exact goal of this is unclear to many, as in Ireland we've already had the Prohibition of Incitement to Hatred Act for almost 30 years which makes it a criminal offence to use words that are abusive, threatening or insulting to a protected group. Considering hate speech is already illegal then, it's left many in the general public asking what else Minister Flanagan and the Fine Gael government have in mind. Now, luckily the minister has given us an insight into what kind of speech might be banned in the near future. He talked to RTE's Drive Time recently and was asked about his view of hate speech and how it should be called out. I'm very keen, along with Minister Stanton, to ensure that we have robust legislation that can deal with hate speech, which is totally unacceptable. Should you call it out? Absolutely. Um, I've, I've no difficulty in so doing. had a bad experience myself at the Plowing Championships, where uh, you know I witnessed uh, the type of, of prejudice uh, that is certainly not reflective of Ireland. Mr. Flanagan went on to say that he was followed around and confronted in a way that was, in his words, upsetting and disturbing, and that he was keen to see that that kind of behaviour was not normalised. What did you see? Well, I was followed around by people from the alt-right in a way that was upsetting. And I'm a public representative. I, I take the slings and arrows of public representation like everybody else. But I thought it was something new, and I thought it was something that was disturbing. And I'm very keen to ensure that it doesn't become normalised in our society. So what exactly happened at the ploughing? Well, a young immigration campaigner approached Minister Flanagan and asked him about what he described as mass immigration. Charlie, can I ask you some questions about mass immigration in the country? The Irish people are concerned about the levels of mass immigration coming into this country. Project Ireland 2040 projects another million people coming into this country. What's your, the Irish people are becoming a minority in their own country, Charlie. Answer the questions, Charlie. Where are you running to? Now, you may have a different opinion from that man about immigration, but did that really seem like hate speech? Was the minister really being threatened or harassed? Most people would agree that challenging a minister on government policy is perfectly legitimate, even if the challenge is robust. Every citizen has a democratic right to protest. It appears that the minister thinks an elected politician being asked pointed questions by a taxpaying citizen about their policies is unacceptable. All of this muddies the waters as to what exactly the government's true intentions are with this proposal. Is it really about stopping hate, or is it about stopping the Irish people voicing their concerns and asking valid questions of their politicians? Charlie Flanagan recently told locals in Uchtarard who opposed the imposition of a direct provision centre on their small town to quote-unquote step back, and he has used inflammatory language to verbally attack peaceful protesters in Ackle and elsewhere, describing perfectly legitimate protests as a siege. Will hate speech laws be used against the people in small towns across Ireland, like Ackle and Ballinamore, who are peacefully protesting direct provision? Some have even suggested that in light of the new RSE curriculum, criticism of transgender education may even be included as a form of hate speech on the grounds of bigotry. It all remains to be seen, but all of this leaves a massive question mark over what Fine Gael's true agenda might be. Over the next few weeks, the Department of Justice and Equality will take feedback from members of the Irish public on how they feel about the idea. So be sure to let Charlie know your view and let us know how you feel in the comments below. Thanks for watching.